Hello, Mateus. Welcome to EuroHoops. Uh, Thank you. EuroLeague uh, starts, so you have a difficult game against the Real uh, in Oaxaca. Uh, how, how easy is it for a team to start with against the Real? You know, actually, I think it's better to start with the, let's say, the, the top teams than with the, with the teams who are, let's say, a little bit lower level. Not that Real. Real is top of EuroLeague, so everybody knows this. One of the top of the EuroLeague. And uh, actually, why it's, why it's easier? Because these new teams, in the beginning, they need to find themselves, you know, find the rhythm, uh, try to uh, see where are their strengths, where are their weaknesses. Uh, and it's sometimes easier to surprise this kind of team, especially at home. And uh, you somehow know that with Real it's going to be a very tough game. You know, they're a very difficult game and the quality of the players, the, the organization itself, it's, it's the, one of the highest in, in Europe. So I believe it's going to be a good game. It's going to be a you know, competitive game. And if we can surprise them and, and, and grab the win, that would be amazing. Uh, Real is a powerhouse in the Euro League. Yes. Uh, they, they made some pretty interesting signings. Uh, they won recently in the Super Cup, the Spanish Super Cup. Uh, yes. Did you have any, any time to watch any of the games or uh, the, the new Yes, I, I, I watched the final of the Super Cup and uh, I think they, they really are physical. They, they're very long on every position. They can, of course, they have a lot of experience with the players who play EuroLeague many years and uh, who know how to win and who know how to compete in EuroLeague level. So, the, the you know the task is even more difficult you know so we will see we will see how they will come you know for this first game it's always you know Oaxaca probably will be full and uh, it's gonna be nice <laughs> I don't know what to say uh, more as always as always yes. yeah uh, I have to ask about EuroLeague in general uh, it's gonna be a challenging uh, season uh, many new teams many new faces um, uh, what can we expect a lot of really tight games, in my opinion, because, like you said, the, the, the EuroLeague will be so, so competitive, so intense, the games will be so intense, so many guys who are really physically strong uh, are right now in the league and it's getting more and more interesting. I think it's going to be more and more fun to watch and uh, I'm really curious how it's going to go because Last year it was already a great season, you know, okay, except the situation when the Russian teams were, were moved out of the competition. That would be also an interesting finish if the Russian teams would stay. So, in overall, in my opinion, EuroLeague as a level of the, of the competition of the teams and the organization are making step, step by step, you know, higher they're going and they're climbing, really going really close to, to NBA, in my opinion. And what about Panathinaikos? Uh, team uh, struggled, let's say, in the couple of uh, last two seasons. Uh, mm -hmm. New team, new, new roster. Uh, what, what can we expect? What, what, how easy or not will it be? It's never easy. In EuroLeague, it's never easy. I never play Greek League, so I don't want to you know, talk about this too much. I will have my first experience uh, soon so I can say something, but in EuroLeague it's never easy. The, the last team can beat the first team. And that's why, that's why this league is so fun to watch, that's why this league is so competitive. So I know Panathinaikos, we all know that we have a couple of bad, bad years. Last two years was not so, let's say, great. But uh, you know, everything that is bad at some point ends. So we will, for sure, we will fight uh, till the end to, in every game. In the, every game we will try to leave our hearts on the floor for, for our team, for our fans. And we will be working hard from day to day, you know, and uh, I believe and most of our uh, people, let's say, in the basketball industry, we all believe that when you work hard, the, it will pay off. So this is the only way for us. We have young team. Uh, we will for sure be competitive, but we have to stay together all the time. We have to work hard together all the time and fight like crazy on the court and this will be the key for us.